Well, hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, no, no, you're not mistaken. I'm wearing a shirt. I do own clothing. <laughs> and you know why I'm wearing a shirt? Because I, I, I don't have any hot water in the house. We, uh, if you saw my little uh, live feed this morning, we got about six inches of snow here in Austin, and it is still below freezing. It's 21 degrees. We have water, thank goodness. We have power. There's a lot of people... Uh, in our area and Texas in general and other places, I'm sure, that have zero power and have not had power since early, early last night, like two o'clock in the morning. So we feel very fortunate to have power. And uh, I need, uh, I couldn't leave. I couldn't, I couldn't let you guys, I couldn't miss a Monday video just because uh, I was downtown stuck in a snowstorm and then I was at work all day and then I I had, I drove home, I drove, I don't live too far from work, but I live far enough that it was, uh, we're not used to driving in this kind of weather down here in Texas, and I wasn't worried about myself, I was worried about other drivers who think, oh, I can just drive as fast as I want, uh, but I made it home, I saw several cars uh, actively stuck on the side of the road and kind of in the middle of the road and people not knowing what to do. And uh, don't go over overpasses in Texas. We don't have snow plows. We don't have salt to put down. We're stuck. So when you get, you know, freezing temperatures like this, normally when it snows here, it just melts. But it's been cold. So the snow hit the ground and it's stuck immediately. So that's what we're in. And I need to shave. I made it home. Made it through all that. I cleared off the... I, gotta, I didn't even make it up in the driveway all the way. I couldn't get into the driveway. <laughs> But luckily, I got in far enough that I'm not hanging out into the street. Um, yeah, then I had to clear all the snow. This is this is crazy. This is crazy. But I'm going to shave. But I'm not going to shave with a razor. I'm going to shave with this thing because this is what I do when I can't shave with a razor or if I just need to, you know, get this off my face. And I don't want to do a cold water shave. I know there's lots of people that say, you should do a cold water shave. And I've done that. I did one with ice cubes. You guys remember that one? Oh, it seems oh so long ago. But today I'm just going to get this done and get it out of the way. But I didn't want to miss a Monday shaving video. So I've had this thing forever. And it was the star of one of my most viewed videos. Safety razor versus electric shaver. And oh boy, all the electric shaver people. I hear, I heard it from them like, you're not doing it right and you got to do this. And it's like, oh, yeah, well, I see. But it does the job. What kind is this? It's the Philips Norelco something or other. Uh, it's by Philips. Philips makes good stuff. And I keep this in my drawer. I keep it charged up. I brought it to the hotel last night. I was able to actually take a shower and do my hair this morning. Thank goodness, because now we have no hot water. I'm not taking a shower for the next few days. Ugh. It's going to be ripe. So I'm going to show you what I do when I don't shave. I don't consider this shaving? Yeah, I do, of course I do. But, it does in a pinch, you know? And believe me, it does pinch. So I just try to get as much down as I can. You should have seen Cinnamon, our little dog. Chasing after the birds in the backyard, running through the snow drifts. She's never seen snow like this. She's only a year old. Heck, I've never seen snow like this. In the 50 years I've lived in Texas, I've never seen snow like this, ever. Now, if I lived in, in North Texas, I would see it more often, like if I lived, lived up in Lubbock or Dallas. But I don't, I never have. This is very unusual, and it's going to be very cold tonight. It's going to be 5 degrees tonight. There. And then what you do is you just pop that sucker. I'm not going to show you because it's kind of gross. It's full of whiskers, gray old hair whiskers. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. That'll get, that gets the scruff off, you know, so I don't have to feel that anymore. Don't be afraid to puff your cheeks out and look like a fool. I mean, if I can do it in front of whoever's watching, then you can do it in your privacy of your own bathroom, right? So what you do is you pop this thing open. And you wash it out. Wash it out. Wash it out. I've got to keep the water running so the pipes don't freeze. Hold on. Set this. There we go. Just enough. So then it's all clean. That's pretty much clean enough. Good enough. And then, oops, just dry the sucker off. 
dry it down, put it back into the, I leave it open to let it dry. <laughs> I leave it open, it's like a Zippo lighter. And uh, keep it down in there. And then, ooh, it's cold water. I'm gonna wash my face just a little bit, just to get some of the whatever off, you know. So if there's any dried skin left over, ew, gross. You don't wanna hear about that. Let me dry my face. And then I'm gonna use a little aftershave. Just the stuff that's right here. The Foire Och Snog from Executive, my friends at executiveshaving.co.uk, executive-shaving.co.uk. It's a pepperminty, non-alcohol-based post-shave balm. And it feels so good, it smells so good, it tastes so, no, no, I haven't tasted it. I'm sure it doesn't taste good. Don't taste your shaving products. Don't be like me. You know I've done that before. I'm not proud of it. Well, I'm not not proud of it, you know? Hold on, I'm trying to get the water to drip in just the right amount. There you go, okay, I think that's good. <laughs> Let me dry my hands. Oh. Let me feel. That's pretty good. That's not bad, you know? I mean, it could never be as close as a safety razor or a cartridge or that kind of stuff. But it's good. Oh, I want to show you this. I got this mail in the mail from Sheldon over at Global Shave Club, his new red tip. He sent me this one. You remember my video with the one from the 50s. What was it, 56, I think? This one. Great little razor. Well, he's created a tribute razor, not a replica, a tribute. And I just want to show it to you right now just because, I mean, yeah, I don't want you to be feel like you, you got ripped off and didn't have a long enough uh, video today. But look at the one he sent me. He sent me the golden one. Look at that. Looks like Iron Man, doesn't it? Tony Stark uses this razor. Look at that stuff. Isn't that beautiful? So thanks, Sheldon, for sending me the fancy one. He's trying to butter me up. <laughs> anyway, there, that's what it looks like. And it's a tribute, so it's not exactly the same as the red tip. It's a different knurling, different size, different mechanism. This kind of uh, comes in and out when you open the butterfly doors. See how it's now flush against the bottom? And it goes a little farther down. But this thing looks beautiful. I think it's actually plated in real gold, if I'm not mistaken. I'll tell you more about it later when I use it. But for now, you're going back in the box. Boop. Thanks, Sheldon. Ah, well, is that it? It's been almost 10 minutes. That's good enough. Yeah. I, uh, it's been a heck of a day. And uh, I don't know if you can tell. I have the, the light in here is so different because the skylight is covered in snow. There's six inches of snow up there. Not from, there's also two windows over here. That's the natural light you're seeing from there. Plus, I don't normally do a shave at four o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday, but today isn't any ordinary Monday. This is a really, I'm worried because tonight all the snow is going to freeze solid. It's going to be five degrees, so it's going to make it more treacherous, and we're supposed to have more freezing rain and uh, wintry mix tomorrow night and the next day. <clears throat> we're not prepared for that sort of thing, so uh, keep me in your thoughts and prayers and my family that we keep our power, and uh, we're not going anywhere. I, I made it home safe. I made it just far enough into the driveway, <laughs> and uh, it's too cold to have scotch on the patio. Oh, that's... The I'm out of scotch. I've got this much scotch left. Actually, I have some some of the fancier Macallan. I have about that much. I might have to break in to the $150 birthday Macallan. I didn't spend that much. It was given to me as a birthday gift, but it's very good. 15-year-old Macallan. I love that stuff. If you're into scotch. If, if you've never tried scotch and you would try, want to try a really good uh, single malt scotch, you cannot go wrong with just the regular Macallan, like the 10-year, 12-year. And it won't break the bank, but that's good stuff. <laughs> Somehow this is now the Scotch uh, <clears throat> TV show. <clears throat> I almost said podcast. It's not even a TV show. It's not a podcast or a TV show. What is this? It's the ramblings of a lunatic mind. That's right. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope that wherever you are in this great big world, uh, that you're safe and that your family is safe and that you're warm, or that you're cool, or whatever it is that you need, you're, are being, your needs are being fulfilled. <laughs> I hope the best for everyone and for everybody. Isn't that the same? Everyone and everybody? <clears throat> I don't know. See, when I start to ramble like this and it don't make sense, that's, that's when I know it's time to turn off the camera. Time to turn off the camera and go hang out with the family and see what's up. See what we're going to do. All right, everybody. 
Have a good day, and I'll see you Friday. Hopefully, we'll be thawed out by then. We're supposed to be. So, thanks for joining me. I'll see you. Bye.